What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another brand new video. And you have seen from the title of the video that today I will be talking about the reasons why I chose to come to Norway. So, without any further ado, let's hop into the video. Coming up. So, my number one reason that I chose to come to Norway was free education, as many of you guys know. Norway provides free education and when I say free education, I mean that you don't pay a single penny for your education. There, However, there is a small semester fee that is around uh, 70 or 80 US dollars, which is not a big deal and that's basically covering your administrative things, for example, photocopying, your student card and whatnot, but there is actually no tuition fee, which means that you can study a master's or a bachelor's or anything that you want to study in Norway for free. There are some programs that do have uh, fees, tuition fees, but most of the schools, colleges and universities provide because it's, it's a social welfare state, it's public schools, public colleges, public universities. So many of them or most of them or I would say majority of them are free. So that's a very good news for those who want to go abroad, get an exposure, learn new things, see new countries. Uh, so you can definitely consider coming to Norway. So that was my first reason why I chose to come to Norway. My number two reason was, of course, when you come to Norway or when you go abroad, uh, the majority of the students who are going abroad, they don't have, I mean, they don't come from extreme, extremely strong financial backgrounds. That is what I've seen. Maybe you are from a very strong financial background. No offense, bro. But many students or a majority of the students that I see come from coming abroad, especially coming to Norway, uh, are those students who come to Norway and they have to or they must do a part-time job or a student job while they are studying in Norway. And I did the same. And it's also very good to have or work to have a part-time job or to work during your education. Uh, so the second reason that brings me to the second reason and that was uh, part-time jobs. You're allowed to work uh, 20 hours a week that makes up to 80 hours a month and you can work these hours when you live in Norway and actually pay your living expenses. How great is that? Third reason was once you graduate in Norway, let's say you're a master's student, most of the international students coming to Norway are master's students. So when you come to Norway as a master's student and you finish your education, then you got to find a job. And the third reason was that Norway allows you, once you finish your education, uh, they give you one year job search visa to find work. And if you find work, you can stay in Norway for as long as you want to unless you lose your job. Number four reason that makes to the list was once you graduate, of course, and now you have found the job. So it's high salaries or high wages when you go to the workplace. Uh, in Norway, there is a minimum wage. You will never be paid less than the minimum threshold. And I guess that's around 450,000 Norwegian kroners, which is about 45 to 50,000 US dollars. So you will be paid that amount of money once you finish your master's and you get into the job. You can even make a lot more than that, but that's the minimum. Even if, let's say, if you are a really bad salary negotiator, you're really bad at negotiating your salary, you don't say anything, but still, you will get that 450,000 Norwegian kroners. That brings me to the number fifth reason why I chose to come to Norway, and that is, uh, once you get into the job, and you're making a good amount of money, and then you also need to have a work-life balance. And in Norway, it's one of the best in the entire world. I have not worked in other countries, but I have read and what I've seen and what I've experienced myself is that work-life balance is great. I've seen great examples even at work. I have the flexibility to choose. I mean, of course, you have to be at work, but you have the flexibility to choose the hours that you want to work and maybe take some time off and probably take it some other day so 
work-life balance is fantastic in Norway. Hey, in the meanwhile, if you're having fun watching this video, consider subscribing and also click the like button and it helps with the algorithm. And if you help me with liking my video and my video gets more views, I get extra motivation so I can make more videos for you guys. So please click the like button or you know, write a comment. What are your reasons or what are you thinking uh, when you're coming or when you're choosing to come to Norway? There's a, there's a bunch of reasons that you can think of when you come to Norway or why do you want to come to Norway? But I would finish off this video by telling you the last reason since I came as a student. So I'm keeping the video in, in that direction. So my last reason would be once you get a job, then you of course get a skilled work permit and that allows you after a certain amount of time that you can get your permanent residence in Norway and that leads to getting even if you stay enough long enough that is around seven years you will be able to get a Norwegian citizenship so those were my top five reasons why I chose to come to Norway if you want me to film a video where I talk about some of the reasons why you shouldn't consider coming to Norway, please leave a comment in the section below because of course, when there are pros, there are cons and there are definitely cons uh, when you choose to come to Norway. So I'm gonna make a video on that as well, but it depends on if you guys want to watch this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you had fun. Once again, click the subscribe button, click the like button, comment, smash each and everything that you see under this video. Until then, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.